Well, I thought the topic was uh, an opportunity, uh, an opportune time to discuss like the benefits of it and the challenges. And what I've been hearing is a lot of the effects that it has had on relationships uh, um, and the effects on children. And so um, it's taken away a lot from the family um, and has affected the, I guess, the community. Um, and so that was my concern is the ripple effect from um, the ongoing fight cover that takes place, which has gone from something that was traditional to more like a, a uh, ongoing social, um, let's say, uh, mm. event that takes place, uh, that takes precedence over some of the time that could be spent at home with the family or doing things productively for themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead to uh, Tui. What are your thoughts, Tui, about the topic? People are going to do what people are going to do. And FICAVA, modern five, the modern way of FICAVA is a subculture to our culture. So it's not actually how it's done. It's what's become acceptable amongst our people. And I don't, I mean, it does, I don't think it's the reason for, what am I trying to say? It's not the reason for why men act the way they do, but it creates this bubble that allows them to act this way. But it's, I mean, it's just so much more like, I'm going to touch base on the mental health aspect. And I want to be careful what I say when I say this, but Polynesian men are almost suppressed by our people in our culture. Like they, we, our culture doesn't foster growth outside of our culture. So that's fair. Okay. When you, when you, when you said uh, the suppression part, oh, I see other people. What, what do you mean? Like, I just, I'm, what do you mean? Yeah, like I, I feel like I should find a better word because I have to be careful with stuff like that because, you know, it's, people take that out of context, but men i mean men in our in polynesian culture like they know what to do they know how to act like the mentality you ha you find a wife you have a family you get a job you support that family but the problem is we're we're not fostering growth in the way of pushing our our young men to our adult men okay to to go further than you know, yate, not that there's anything wrong with yate work, everybody. Yeah. But, you know, that's an example. Construction, yate work. This is like, this is what's acceptable to our people. They, they don't, we don't push our men to look at anything else. Like they don't, <laughs> our people are very intelligent people, but we don't foster growth as a culture for men, for women. Yes. Like, I need to stop saying like, so for women, our culture is like, yes, go, go to college, explore what's out there for our men, go to college, play sports, get your degree, but then come back and this is what you're going to do. So, okay. you know, we, there's no real room for growth for <clears throat> our men. And so places like Kalapus, and I'm not saying that Kalapus are all bad, but, you know, because Kalapus do things like fundraisers, right, for families, for, for certain functions, you know, I know all that. Yeah. But it also allows men to act a certain way, you know. Gotcha, so. gotcha. All right. And before we move on to the next person, I do want to ask Irene, because I know you alone, you know a lot about the Gava the traditions and culture. What was the purpose of Fai Gava traditionally, originally? Well, okay. Fai Gava traditionally was done for, uh, was done, was a social drink, but it was done for formal protocols in Fiji and Tonga originally. And I did share with you that um, it became more popular um, when Christianity came into play, okay. right? And uh, in Tonga, it was, it was for courting purposes. Mm. So originally, that's what it was. If there was a young man or suitor that was interested no. in a young woman, uh, he would actually come and seek permission uh, through the uncles and the father via the kava, fai kava 
um, um, activity. And so because they couldn't date publicly. And so the girl that was serving the drinks was actually the woman that he was pursuing. And so in different nights, the different suitors would come along to, uh, to um, swoon this young lady over. And so the men, the father and the family would decide based on the genealogy and the clan of the guy, the suitor that was coming for their, for their daughter's hand in marriage. Okay. Okay, so that was the, the purpose of the Fagawa Club was to uh, be able courting to- Courting purposes. Court, courting purposes and be able to talk to the father. All Correct, right. yes. Okay. And uh, how did the, and then the Christianity was what led to, uh, I guess, more the modern, social, more, the more social, social, modern social drinking. Correct. And, and drinking and drinking. Okay. All right. Got it. All right. Yeah, just for everybody out there watching right now, if you don't know where they, if I got came from, um, that's where traditionally that's how it originated. All right. Thank you so much, Irene, for sharing that. I know that was one of the main questions a lot of people was reaching, reaching out to me, asking about uh, the originality of uh, Faikawa. Daniela, if you're watching this right now, I see your name popping up in the waiting room. Uh, just hold hold on tight. Let me just go to all the panel guests, and I'll be able to have you jump on, and uh, and be part of this conversation. Uh, Daniela Lautaha, and I see I see your name. All right, real quick. So we're gonna Leah. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts about the uh, the topic? About how Faikawa yeah causes men to be stagnant. Yeah. I honestly think I I am for Faikawa. Um, and as for being stagnant, I think that's an individual thing. It's not fair to say that Faikava causes men to be stagnant. I think everyone can be responsible for their own choice. It's just like, it doesn't matter where you go. If you're going to go to the club or to, you know, school or Faikava, there is good and bad influence everywhere and to each their own. Each person should be able to you know, decide whether or not they'll participate there and what they will do there and how that will influence their life. But I'm, I'm pro Faikawa, just, but that's probably because I'm such a fob. I'm from the island. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure how Faikawa works out here in the States or, or any, in any other big country, so. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah Faikawa is a great tradition of what we have. It's just sometimes, uh, I think, like you said, it, it, certain individuals are, uh, abuse it uh, and it affects their life, right? They don't have a uh, self-discipline. So um, go right into the fellas, Savage. What's your thoughts, Savage? Um, so, you know, st staying away from tradition and of course the story of uh, Fe Fe Fafa Fevanga or uh, Gavakilia, like I, I do want to stick to being first generation. Um, where we're at right now in modern society with Kava, is it stagnating us? I don't believe so. I mean, if anything, we're still we're more experimental here in America. I'm not going to speak on places like uh, Australia or New Zealand or even back home in Tonga or Hawaii or Samoa or Fiji or anywhere else. But just here specifically in America. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of bad connotation, stigma behind it, um, usually around the men who go there and, you know, what is it? Leave their wife at home. Um, it's, it has built a stereotype of its own and it's taken up a life of its own. And it sucks, you know, it obviously sucks, but is it stagnating us uh, as far as, you know, the men or those who participate in the fight of our culture? I don't believe so. I, if anything, I think it's, so, it's, still, it's still so new to a point that we're just now having bars. I have a, we have a bar here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I think it's Ninth, Ninth, Ninth Island Kava. And people still don't even know what Kava is. And when they hear about it, they know the ceremony part of it. They don't know that it's actually used to socialize. Um, me being first generation born here and hearing the old stories and hearing the tradition, but not ever participating in it. Uh, is it shameful at times when you hear this? Yes, because it, it, it takes away from the, uh, the unique, the, the, the mystery or, you know, the, how would I say, the mystique behind it. Because, you know, it, to, to a point, it's, it's really spiritual. It's really spiritual. And in that sense, if, if it's not stagnating, it is kind of desensitizing uh, the Kava culture. Mm -hmm. That part, that kind of does suck because it shouldn't be a thing like, hey, we're going to fight Kava. <laughs> better let your wife know. <laughs> you better let your wife know. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what happened last week? You know, sh you know, Siona and them, they went crazy last week. And then trust me, I've I, I participated in some crazy things. I've seen some crazy things. 
I've heard even more crazier things. Is that a good thing? No, but I don't believe it's stagnating us. If anything, we're still in the experimental phase of how Gava can push us forward as far as a, a social thing, a Fai Gava thing, because uh, I think it, it's more of a, I hope, I hope and pray that it becomes more medicinal instead of being prescribed to, hey, go and take this medication because you're dealing with these kind of pains and mental issues. No. Hey, how about you go to uh, Sione's house? They have a Fai Gava session there every other week. And, uh, you know, it's really proven to, to help people with their depression and their mental health issues. I hope and pray that's where we can get to one day. But as far as stagnating us, I don't believe so. Right, Always yeah. a Sione. <laughs> Always Sione. <laughs> Always, Always Sione. Sione. All the Sione's out there. Sione something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always Sione. I blame Sione. <laughs> <laughs> all right no thank you thank you so much savage and yeah it like and just to go off what you said yeah i've seen it too like uh uh like i've seen things happen in the fight cover club but that, that there's like i said that is, i think somebody dropped a send me a message on the on the dm he said like the analogy like guns don't kill people people kill people it's like the gava is not at fault it's the individual choices of people are making in the, the in the groups uh that's uh that's doing these things so um, but last but not least, Chelsea, what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts, Chelsea? Thoughts. Well, first of all, um, Irene, mean, thank you for, for bringing that back. Uh, you brought me back lots of memories being in, in cover ceremonies and, you know, back in Tonga, also here in the, in the States. And uh, wow, what a, what a topic, right? Um, but really what it comes down to is what's missing somebody's life that they need something to go disturb themselves or take place of right? you gotta you really gotta take a look what might be missing i'm not saying this is what's happening but we want to consider there's something missing in a relationship or missing in their life that they have to go sit around and enjoy themselves or maybe there's nothing missing right but so the way that i look at it there's absolutely nothing wrong with what we have in terms of in the islands and back and here in the states it's all about the intention. What are the intention and why are they going there for? You got that? Whatever their intention is, is their intention, where, whether it is for courting somebody or just to hang out. What I really want to consider, you guys, have you guys consider is what is missing in their life? Like what goal is not being met? Why are they stopped at this point? And the, the other side, are they having, is there anything wrong with it? Maybe, maybe not. And I have it that we're, ha we're having this kind of conversation. And I, 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 in the midst of this conversation, what I was thinking about is why are we having people that are actually going out to cover clubs participating in this conversation? The difference would have made is if people were participating in the cover ceremonies or, or here in the States, it would make a, make a difference because we're just having a round and around the conversation instead of having those that really affect or those who are participating in the cover ceremonies, have them be heard, hmm. right? Because we yeah. can sit here, we can punch this until it falls down and give us whatever it is, but really doesn't do any good if we're not interacting with who they are. In other words, we get into the world and we see what they're going through. Because hmm. I have it in this conversation here, we're all rolling the same ball. get people to participate in this type of conversation, you want to get both ends so that we walk with something that's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So let me let me ask you guys real quick before uh, Daniela, I'm going to add you real quick. I just want to ask one last question to the to the panel before I, I bring you in. So I guess my, my question is like, what is the solution, right? So like, you know, because, you know, from the a lot of the feedback I got from a lot of the women, you know, they're uh, they're up, you know, they're tired of their the men going out there and cheating or flirting with the doa or flirting with the girls at the five cover clubs. A lot of the feedback I got was like uh, the men wasting their time at these five cover clubs and they're at home uh, taking care of the children and they're just wasting their time and not doing productive yep. anything productive. So what's the solution, right? Because I know I made I, made, I know there was a lot of people that uh, they were pro gava. A lot of men reached out to me. They're upset with me talking about this. And because they thought I was um, I was negatively talking about Fai Gaba and I had to let them know, no, no, Fai Gaba is a great thing, but you can't, 
but you can't uh, ignore the fact that the reality is, is like there's some certain gobble clubs and certain men out there that's behaving in this way that's not a great representation not only for themselves as an individual as a human being but also for the for the for the, for the traditional of like gawa so like what like what's the like what is the solution like uh, because if, can if, I say something? Go ahead, go ahead, Irene. So so you know when I think of Faikava, is there a purpose and objective of why they're getting together? What is the purpose of them getting together? You know, in the olden days, what I told what I was told growing up, my grandfathers and them used to sit in a circle, and they discussed and debated philosophy, and they debated the things that were happening in that time in Tonga. So yes. when I think of Faikava, I always think, okay, so what are the positive things we can get from the men coming together? Is it networking, you know, when they're coming together, you know, other than their natural support of therapy, you know, because sometimes we're away from home and stuff like that. Therapy, what, you know, if, is it for weddings? Is it for funerals? I get that. But when it becomes something where they're doing on a weekly every weekly base you know on a weekly basis that's their planned activity and i think about how many hours are spent in the kava ceremony session with the men when you think about okay so what about the time for the children and what about the time for the wife mm. right uh, you know we even had some of the, like uh, i think Twee said something about the men doing yati you know, I had an uncle who started that when he was in college and he hired all the other students to come in and earn extra cash while they were studying to do that. And then he made a business out of it. Mm. And then he went into another venture. And I, and I think if the Faikava session was something that they got, uh, was there for a purpose to, you know, maybe to propel them as far as business wise networking moving forward how do we fix our community how do we you know improve ourselves being mentors for our young men i can see the women going along with it i can see them appreciating you know that part of why their husbands are there or why their partners are there too yeah but i i think that goes back to the communication part right correct if, if men are walking away walk away from their from their family to go to a cover weekly, what is twice a week, once a week, right? I have it that the foundation of communication is not there. Mm. Right? There's no platform for, for, for communication. So if we sat down, we had a, some kind of platform that there was, here's how we're going to communicate when we do things, you tell me, like that kind of, right? It's, there's no platform for communication. And that's, we have it that all the alphas just do what they do. Yeah. There's not an, an opening or clearing for to have communication where what the wife says matter and what the husband says matter. We're going back to the alpha thing. We just do what we do because that's all we know. Mm. And we're stuck in this world because we keep following that, that way of being. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm the man of the house. I provide. You shut the hell up. You stay at home. And I'm going to do what I do. Yeah. So we're gonna to have to take a look, not we here, but all of us in the rest of the all of Polynesia really have to sit down and truly get and understand what it takes to take on your communication so that lens is, is powerful. Yeah. That I love you and you love me. And so there's no yelling, there's no argument, there's just a conversation, a clear conversation so that the wife can take care of what the wife needs to do and the husband takes care of the what he needs to do. So it goes back, it's like, it's always been about communication. I have it, we just haven't figured out how to really deal with communication and that we don't take it personal. Because oh, that's yeah. what Tong and Menin knew is we are, the, we are the one that run the house. What I say goes. Hmm. So we truly have to take a look at the way we communicate. What is it about us men that have it that we have to be the hammer in the family? Yeah. Right? This is a, a true partnership in in here in the states and the partnership doesn't doesn't mean that he gets to do what he needs to do but really a conversation of how can i help you how can i help you how can you help me it's partnership and in partnership you don't get to go and do what you do and what you feel like you need to do and leave the family at home once again that's a conversation that we as individuals as people here in the states need to take a look at because we're bringing the old way of being 
I rule the house. It's my house. I make the money. You shut the hell up and let me do what I do. You might want to take a look. And, and, and for those that are listening, whether it's now or, or tomorrow, just you might consider sitting down and really think about what is it about me or what is it about you that has you do what you do and leave the, and you leave the family behind. And you go to your own adventure, like going to the cover club and doing what you do. Instead of spending the quality time that Irene was talking about, spending that quality time with the family and the wife. So you can build something new instead of coming from something old, leaving away with something old and never building a, a new legacy. Yeah, I love what Irene said that, uh, that we've, we've, we've lost the purpose, right? The purpose of Faigawa. Yep. And just reflecting on my own experience, right? Like I remember, you know, when I grew up, when I grew up, I didn't, I didn't even know what the purpose of Paikawa was. All I knew was, was, uh, was a place where we just go and there was a doa and we just sit around and talk and, and have fun, right? But there wasn't, there wasn't an objective. There wasn't, uh, I wasn't taught the purpose of the reason of what Paikawa was. And uh, as I got older for me, and then, you know, for me, uh, as I got older and I wanted to grow and become a better man myself, I realized a lot of the conversations that we had, I, I, I started to lose interest in Paikawa because I was around these guys that we were just talking about, we were just, we were just talking, but there was no application in our life. It was all talk. Mm. So like, we're all sitting here and then almost some, some of them were just like complaints, self-pity, pity parties, talk about their struggle, talk, talk about their problems, which is fine if you wanna be open up and express yourself. But then for me, I was like, we're talking about the same things every weekend. You know, it's like, what are we actually doing yeah. with our lives to improve? Like, okay, we talked about it last Correct. week. Are you, are you applying these things in your life? And for me, it just got like, it just, you know, for me, I was like, man, this is, this is not benefiting my life at all as a, as a, as a person. So I, that's why I stopped going. And plus the things I saw, you know, inf people, infidelity, you know, cheating and all that stuff. I saw that too. So I was like, you know, this is, uh, uh, I said on my video, this is not an environment for me that's going to help. Me. So I love the Gava Club, but it, I just realized like it just it wasn't a, a productive, a positive environment for me to grow as a, as a Pacific Islander, both as an Islander, but also as a man. So now I was like, I stay away, uh, stay away uh, from Gava Clubs. And I wish I knew the purpose of Five Gava Club was to court men. There's a couple of girls in the past, I could have, uh, their dads were big Five Gava fans. So I could have just walked <laughs> up to their house. <laughs> hey, 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 dad. <laughs> <laughs> Want to drink some gum? <laughs> I wish I wish somebody taught me that pur that purpose. Oh uh, man, now I know. Oh no, it's good to know. I don't have to go on my list. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, Daniela, if you're watching this right now, uh, I'm about to uh, uh, about to have you jump on. I know uh, you've been waiting patiently, so thank you so much for waiting patiently, Daniela. Hope you're ready, and you can jump on real quick and express and share your thoughts, or if you have something to say to one of our panel guests. So I just I'm want to say something really quick. The I, okay, go the ahead. Five, go ahead five cover the fight level is not the issue the issue is the people that go <laughs> yeah yeah because like, <laughs> like so I'm, I'm, re I'm reading some of these chats and i'm i i, I never said i wasn't okay with fight yeah it's not the problem <laughs> so <laughs> just for everyone who's watching i don't think there's but, anything but, wrong but with fight at the same time what we're doing here is not making people that go to fight cover wrong you guys yeah. hear that like in this conversation this is not a conversation about What's right and what's wrong? It's Correct. an inquiry. Yeah, yeah. It's an inquiry of what we could do to make things different, not a yeah. sense of I'm going to blaming that I'm judging somebody else for doing what they're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. Got that? We're not yeah. judging who they are. We're having them take a look at what what they could do from here on to transform their way of being and be different, if they want to. This is not a you have to. Yeah. If they want to. Yeah, Savage, go ahead, real quick. I, I got to say this. I got to say this out loud so I don't forget it. So I can remember watching this later and I, and I do it. <laughs> we need we need to make an app to find the the local Kalapus that you want to go to. We have yeah. to have said it again. Make an app, uh, voice note to myself. Make an app to find local Kalapus. Thank you. Thank you. Savage, <laughs> tap, savage tap in with me later. I got, I got you. <laughs> 